Hi, in this lesson we will learn how to create a dynamic calendar. Uh, once we choose any months from this list, let's say uh, April 2018, it will start on Sunday and April is 30 days. If I choose, uh, let's say, uh, February, February is just 28 days and every time Saturday and Sunday is highlighted as a weekend. We will create the same file from scratch. First step, we need the 12 months, so I'm going to type January. Then I, I will drag. So I have the whole list till uh, December. Uh, also, I need the number, so January is the first month. So now we have 12 months with their names. Uh, just to make it easier, I will name this list as the list. You can escape this one. In this cell, we will ask the user to select the months. And in this cell, he has to type the name. So uh, this cell will be a data validation using a list. Because I create a name, I can press F3 and select list. You can escape this one and just highlight the month's names. So, what we need now is to find the last day of the selected month. To do so, we will use end of month. But end of month work with month number, not month name. So, I'm going to use VLOCAL to find this month in this small table, getting the information from column number 2 is 0. So, February is month 2. July is the 7th month of the year. We will use end of month to find the last day of the month. To use end of month, we need to find the start date. Because we don't have start date, we will use date to create a start date using this year, this month, and one. So the first day of the month. And we will use zero to find the last day of this month. So if we format this one as a date, It will display the last day of the selected month. So if I select February, it is 28. But I don't need the date. I just need the day. So I will put this one inside day function. Now I have to format this one again as general. So now every time I select a month, I can find the last day. So March is 31, April is 30, and so on. Now I need to create the calendar. Let's say here we will have the date. And we will have, let's say, five tasks. So task one, two, three, to five. How to create a range of dates? So we will use date using this year with absolute. So every time we use the same year using this month again with absolute and now we need to type one but when I drag to the right I find two three so to do so we will use column column number one is A so I have to type A with any number this number has nothing to do so this one is first of April so I will drag till the maximum number of days which is 31 of course I can uh, reformat the dates to just display the day name day number and month number like this now we have one more problem if the month is less than 30 days let's say February it will continue in the next month so like here because February is 28 we have 1st of March 2nd and 3rd so how to tell the formula to stop at the last day of the month to do so we are going to use F again with the column number A which is 1 with any letter as long as the column number if the column number is greater than the days with F4, just display blank, 
to code to code. Otherwise, display the date. So now I'm going to drag it again. So February is 28, so this three cell is blank. But March is 30. Of course, you can do your own format to the table. Okay, now how to tell uh, the table to highlight uh, the Saturday and Sunday, the weekend. So I'm going to select the first column, Control Shift, right arrow to select the whole table, Conditional Formatting, Manage Rule. I'm going to add a new rule using a formula. If weekday, so weekday of the day itself is equal to uh, 6, which is uh, Saturday, And now I need to move from F to G, from G to H, so I have to remove the dollar sign. In, in this case, I'm going to highlight, uh, let's say, with red. So, 6 is Friday, so every Friday will be highlighted. We will create the same rule one more time using uh, 7 for the Saturday. So, weekday of this cell is equal to 7. Again, I have to remove the dollar sign in front of the column number, column letter. So, this is a dynamic. If we said March 2015, or even we can refer to July 2015. That's it.